All right, now I'm recording on both of these cameras. I am testing, let's see, the settings. So I'm at 30p at uh, 160 megabits on the Canon and 150 megabits on the Panasonic. But the Panasonic has a 100, um, 422, it's 422 10-bit. I'm shooting in Cine D. And then on the Canon here, I'm shooting in wide DR. I'm not shooting in log though. I'll switch to log in a little bit. But let me try to match the frames here. Now that seems overexposed. This is testing the dynamic range. The Cine D right now is, should give the most dynamic range. And yeah, see what this looks good. Right now I have the gain up. So the gain on, since I'm using wide DR on the Canon, it's already at nine. So I tried to match the gain with the Panasonic at uh, eight. The second clip I have the Canon on log three. It's on C log three at 160 megabits, uh, XF AVC 30P. And the uh, Panasonic I haven't changed. So it's at Cine D picture profile. It's adjusting and compensating for the dynamic range as best as the camera can. But the Panasonic is uh, 422 10-bit. And the Canon is only 420 8-bit. But the Canon has a bigger sensor and it has its shooting log, log three. Okay, now in this clip on the Canon, I am shooting at, I have an ND filter on now. So it's the, I'm shooting at the log, log three uh, at, um, but this is at f4 at 1 60th shutter speed and the the gain is at 9 and at the Panasonic I'm shooting 422 10-bit 150 megabits 30p uh, but I have and I have the ND 1 4th on uh, 1 1 ND 1 4th in the Canon I have ND 1 16th they're, they're both set to the white balance. They're both set to uh, the their natural daylight white balance. Now I'm closer again. With the Canon, I have, I reduced the ND to one fourth and it's at F4. I'm just trying to nail, uh, get the exposure correct. In the Panasonic, I have it at f4 and then I have an nd 1 4th but then I also increase the gain to uh, 90 beads. Here is a bit of a low light situation. On the Canon, I have it at f4 because I'm zoomed in and it just goes down to f4. I have no nd filters. I am shooting at f, uh, log 3 C log 3 and I have the gain set up to 24 decibels. On the Panasonic it's also at f4 and I have this camera set at 24 decibels dBs. I have 24 dBs of gain, 24 dB, dBs of gain. I have the Canon at f4 160 shutter speed. The the gain is at 9. I'm shooting at C log 3, 160 megabits, UHD 30p, XA, XF AVC. On the Panasonic, I am shooting at MOV, 422 10-bit, 150 megabits. The gain is 0, the f-stop is at 4. This is Cine D picture profile, 30p UHD. I have both cameras set to their native daylight white balance. Canon is set to f4.4, 1 60th shutter speed, 9 dBs of gain, but the ND is at 1 16th, and this is C log 3. Panasonic is at f4, 0 dBs of gain, but I have it at ND 1 16th. Cine D. 
it's a it's a little bit too much there's too much silhouette in the Panasonic I'm going to decrease the ND filter to one fourth so that matched the shadows a, a, a bit better to the Canon but now the it's overexposed it's dynamic range this does not have good dynamic range Panasonic is at 13 dBs of gain, f4, 422, 10-bit, 150th, Cine D, 150 megabits, Cine D. The Canon is at f4.4, 160th shutter speed, 14 dBs of gain, C log 3, 160 megabits, XF AVC. Panasonic is at 1/4th ND, 0 dBs of gain, f4. 150 megabits, 422 UHD 4K, Cine D picture profile. Canon is at C log, 14 dBs of gain, F4, ND, 1 fourth. I brought the gain down to 9 to see the moon. Can you see the moon? There's the moon off on the left. There's the moon off in the left. Max zoom. This is the max zoom. The Canon is at f11 now. And the Panasonic is at f7.6. Now I'm going to do a low light test. I'm indoors right now. I'm pointing at a color chart and I have both cameras kind of close together but they have to be at different angles because I can't have them right next to each other. The They're both zoomed all the way out so that they're at their full f-stop, uh, the widest aperture. On the Canon it's f2.8, on the Panasonic it's f1.8. Uh, on, on the Panasonic it's 0 dBs of gain. And it, I'm shooting at 422 10-bit, 150 megabits, uh, UHD 30p. And I'm using the Cine D pro picture profile on the Panasonic. And it's on autofocus, and I have the white balance at 5600. The 5600 that Panasonic natively has. On the Canon, so it's at f2, 160th shutter speed because I'm shooting at UHD 30p. It's at 9 dBs because I'm using the C log 3 picture profile and that already, the base is at 9 dBs. And this is UHD, uh, oh it's at 160 megabits, XF AVC. And the colors look a little brighter but I'm shooting in log so log looks pretty flat on the LCD. Once I put a LUT on there it should add a lot more color. But the Canon is 420 8-bit, and the Panasonic, the advantage here, is that it's 422 10-bit. So now I'm going to test the low light, and also the autofocus is going to be tested as well. Let's see if the focus can stay on that color chart or if there's going to be some, a lot of movement here. Now I'm in pretty low light. Uh, I would never shoot something this low. But yeah, the Canon, it looks like the Canon cannot hold focus when it's in this low light. It, the exposure needs to be better. I can see the Canon's already shifting the autofocus. The Panasonic seems to be okay. Surprisingly, Panasonic has not shifted its autofocus. Now the benefit with the Panasonic uh, and you can see that, I can see that the Canon is a little brighter. It's bringing in more light, but the autofocus is an issue. I would just go to manual at, the, at this point for the Canon. But what I could do here with the Panasonic is turn on the light. So let's turn this light on. Oh, it's also hitting the, for the Canon. But this light here, it's at zero. I'm going to turn the wheel, brighten it up. Boom, look how bright that light is. 
illuminating that card. It's getting back to proper exposure. Well, it's still uh, underexposed, but you can see it, and you can see it on the cannon. So I'm gonna turn this down now, turn the light down, and I'm gonna just turn the light off. Okay, now let's play with the gain. I'm gonna uh, up the gain on each camera and see how high it can go. Now let's start with the Panasonic here. Let's go to 24 dBs. Okay, now the Panasonic's at 24 dBs. Now let's set the can in here. Raising the gain on the cannon. And now I have the cannon at 24 dBs. Hard to tell which is better in low light now. It seems to me, based on the LCDs, that the Panasonic is punching above its weight. But the let's bring it all the way up here. And the Yeah, the Canon can go all the way to 39 dBs. And the Panasonic can go all the way to 30. 30 dBs. So this is as much light as this ca these cameras can uh, l uh, allow in. Canon is f2.8, Panasonic is f1.8. Let's fiddle around with it now. I'm gonna see what I think is proper exposure here with the least amount of gain. I guess 25. I'm gonna go back down to 24. I, I don't think I would wanna go above 24 here on a Canon. And then the Panasonic, oh man, I can already see a lot of gain just on the LCD. So let me bring this down where I can no longer see gain. Oh, no, I see gain all over the place. Grain, I mean, I see grain all over the place. Maybe by 18, this is 18 dBs, I can see a little less grain, but I hmm, could kind of see it there still. Anyways, that was the low light test between these two cameras. It's really hard to tell. I think the Canon does better with the grain but they're both comparable if you just want to see exposure.